I would approach the dog that pulls on leash in two ways. First, I'm going to teach the dog to want to be close to me and to want to follow me. And so obviously we're going to teach that off leash in safe areas, indoors, in a yard, in other fence spaces. That it, you have to have a dog that wants to be close before you can even think of putting a leash on it and expecting him to stay close. Of course we're going to get tension in the leash. And I always ask people, you know, what would happen if we cut the leash with scissors? This is not a pulling on leash problem, is it? No, it's a dog is three counters away problem. Your dog doesn't want to be walking next to you. So teach that first. Then I would use the all or none reward training exercises that we talked about in the adult dog training section. Stand still, wait for the dog to sit. When he sits, take one step and stand still again. Now, this is where I want you to watch what the dog does when you take that one step. And he's bouncing around and all this and you're standing still and he sits and you say, good boy, you give him a treat. You take one step and he goes Whoom! at the end of the leash. That's the energy the dog is getting from when you take one step. So obviously you'll learn from this. If you have a dog that pulls on leash, don't walk. If you take another step, you're rewarding the dog so much. And that's why this problem exists. A lot of dogs live to pull on leash. So if your dog pulls, stand still. So this means you can't deal with the problem when, say, you're walking the dog to meet someone or you're walking the dog around the block. No, you're going to go out now to walk the dog to teach him how to walk on leash. You go outside, you stand still. You're not going anywhere till the leash is loose. When it is, you walk. If he tightens it, you stop. You wait till it's loose. Then you walk. We call this red light, green light. And the dog very quickly learns, wow, when I tighten the leash, my owner stops and we go nowhere. And once they've stopped, you know, the only way to start them is by slackening the leash again. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of energy, but it's worth it in the long run. Because once you've done it, I can't think of anything better than a really long walk with your dog. You're going to get to enjoy lots of these.